Welcome to our all new improved Hauptbahnhof. And uh, well, some of the improvements you can see here in these lines running around. Uh, we installed Computercraft on this server and this enabled us to get rid of all the redstone circuits in this uh, main station and replace it with a giant computer screen uh, with a, which is actually a touch screen and I can directly select any destination in our railway network and I get routed direct directly to that. Um, so let's try it with a near location uh, JPA's uh, water castle or Wasserschloss and I just sit down, press the button and I will get routed to the left here and I arrive at the water castle. Now let's just get back to the main station and I can show you some other destinations and then I'll give you a short look into how it's all done. So there we are, we arrived at the station and now I can select the rear entrance of our castle. It directs me to platform one and uh, I put my minecart here, press the button and off we go. And you notice I will not turn left here but instead carry on straight on turn right here and you will see that some of the acceleration rails will get disabled and now I stop here and after a short delay they turn back on so I have to take off my wine card here so it will not go a wall so now that's the back entrance of our castle and of course I can go back to the main station. Sorry for the position update, the server is sometimes a bit laggy. So I should be running on those rails rather than on this side of it. There we go. Almost. Okay, there's about a 200 line program running this uh, computer here with the touch, touch screen display. Um, when I select a destination, this computer sends out a RedNet message to, uh, to buffer computers. This one and that one and um, they split up the signal so the all the destinations uh, that lie more west from here or more to the east from here uh, get separated and, and I don't have to flood the entire network with that information. Um, these just separate out the signals and if it's for the western destination it comes out here runs into the display and the and a relay station which then uh, gets the message from the uh, main computer and uh, will, will th uh, this message will get transmitted retransmitted when I detect a redstone signal here for example if a minecart passes over this detector rail and so the message propagates from relay station to relay station because I can only talk to computers that are within loaded chunks so I have to store and forward the information of where I'm going so um, then there are these switches which receive uh, ping and pong signals just for uh, getting to know whether the network is still up and running and um, well they process the information 
um, compare it to their configuration and if they are not uh, the switches needed if, if they don't need to take any action then they just keep their default state and you will pass that switch without being routed elsewhere yeah that's uh, basically it um, this repeats every 60 to 80 meters um, there's a relay sometimes with a display on top um, and while you travel every time you go to a relay uh, there's a detector rail which then makes a relay forward the message to the next one or the next switch and they are configured with a certain timeout so you will actually pass the switch to the in the direct uh, direction you want to travel and basically um, every switch and every relay has their own uh, um, no, every relay shares the same program over the network and every display shares the same program over the network and uh, yeah so I can just add some config files to the switch where I want to be sent off to another direction and uh, I'm good to go and I don't have to copy the entire program all the time and uh, this railway ne network is um, from end to end you need about 20 minutes or more to travel it all and not counting every side junction just the extent of it so the farthest point from the uh, main station is the uh, Intercontinental Express which runs about um, 15 kilometers I think to the southwest and uh, the other direction to the east it's about eight minutes travel to the uh, farthest mine that's directly connected to this railway network and of course it spiders out a little bit so, so there are many side destinations I think you would it would take well over a couple of hours to travel it all and the improvement from the of the uh, computer craft over the old um, redstone switched system is that I can travel through this station without having to get off and uh, selecting a new destination I can just program in I want uh, f to go from Atlantis to any other direction and uh, if I have to pass this station then I will and I don't need to get off I just punch in the destination say I want to go there and uh, it will uh, send me to that so now let's try that from Atlantis The only thing about this solution that I don't like that much is that the uh, computer craft sometimes doesn't boot the computers fast enough after loading the chunks so there is some um, message loss on the system and you will get uh, routed to the wrong direction and uh, that's one, for the, one of the reasons for those nice displays over the rail so I can check whether or not I'm still going the right direction and sorry again for the position update on the server uh, I hope this will improve this does not affect the functionality by the way it's just an optical glitch This tunnel was dug by hand, not by turtles, since turtles use fuel and, yeah, some part of it was d uh, dug by turtle, but uh, the main excavation was done by hand. And the position update threw us on the wrong side of the track. We should be running there, yeah, like that, so that's fixed now, I hope. There's a piston door that keeps the monsters out 
and yeah, arrival. I've arrived at Atlantis and now I can uh, go again to the rear entrance of the castle. Uh, just to show you I don't need to stop at the main station and I will be routed directly through. <clears throat> so now I could go out and get a coffee or whatever and be reasonably certain that I will arrive at my destination in the meantime. Uh, you notice maybe that there's no cable yet running on the other side of the track. Um, that's because I have not implemented the feature to uh, travel through the Atlantis station yet. Um, yeah, it ends here. Um, I will do that in the future, so all the other destinations beyond the uh, Atlantis station can be reached directly from the other stations. And the system is designed in such a way that I don't need any big computers or touchscreen computers at every endpoint to select destinations. Um, you could put an ordinary computer and input your destination by hand and it would work just as well. As long as you didn't mistype or anything. So we are almost at the main station where you uh, used to have uh, used to have to, uh, to change the rail or pick up your minecart and something broke you see that switch switched but apparently it did so too late so I'm not exactly sure what happened there but let's try again now it switched at the right time it's the problem is that if this uh, network is a bit lagged then uh, these uh, the switches and so forth don't turn on at the right time and they take too long to boot and then sometimes these glitches happen but believe me it's the exception and we have arrived at the back entrance of the castle again um, the destinations are saved so if another one wanted to use the same track or the same route as you would you just have to uh, tailgate you basically and will arrive at the same destination um, if they programmed a different destination and you were far enough off uh, it would not affect your destination so you can go to another entirely different destination than the next person wants to go to um, but if they start too soon um, then they could override your destination so if I but uh, to circumvent uh, or to prevent that I have a delay of about 10 seconds that will not allow you to change choose a different destination in that time um, which should be enough to travel with 60 meters to the next relay and that's basically what you need to cover uh, f so the next information doesn't override your own yeah so that's basically it our new and improved rail routing system if you're interested uh, send me a message and I m uh, might share some of my code but uh, at the moment it's not in a state that it can be easily installed and just run it's a bit hand tweaked to the needs of this server but um, I will improve on that and yeah I hope I'll have a video for you soon bye